That's the truth. Thanks for saying it, Mina. I'm the perfect boss. I know exactly what my subordinates are thinking. Okay, are you ready, Mia Fuji? Yeah, I was born ready. <laughs> <laughs> What's this about? Explain yourself! I wasn't calling you old, I was trying to show respect. You two, cut the nonsense and decide amongst yourselves who gets to go shopping now. Yes, sir? <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I'm more than happy to be the shopping trip chauffeur today. And today, my main comrade happens to be Mia Fuji. Oh, I get it. The age-old fight over who gets to go on the shopping trip with whom, huh? But still, don't you think you took it a little too far? Well, her driving puts us all in peril, you know? And her antics get more dangerous every time. You guys are terrible! What's wrong, Mia Fuji? It's easy for you to say Hartman should drive when you're not the ones who have to risk your lives riding with her! What'd you say, punk? You're gonna teach me how to drive right now, Liberia. Not before you say what you know you should. I don't see anything on the list for Isla. Didn't she submit her requests? This is probably what she would ask for, right? She's getting greedier with every paycheck. Awful. Wow, great. Now agree to only call me teacher and swear to do whatever I say. Of course, teacher. I await further instructions. Wait, why is she so creepy? I'm having major regrets. I told her driving would allow her to see her sister. Oh. Nice. You can drive fast after all. Don't think. Just go with your gut. That's the ticket. Roger, teacher. You're the best. Hey, there's a car by my head. Yes, the wheel. Yes, teacher. What am I supposed to do next? Mia Fuji, get your healing magic ready! Dear family, by the oh, time you read this, I will be dead. Oh, cool. It's easy. Mia Fuji, can I borrow that pen and some paper? All right, then. It's time to go see Chris! Mia Fuji, does your healing magic work on crazy? I'll try, but this might be above my pay grade. I'm sorry. Well, we better talk about how we're going to get back to the base. How are we supposed to get home without a steering wheel? I don't know, but it's not my fault. And it's fine, we've got a spare tire. So you see, problem solved. How does that fix the steering wheel? It doesn't, but we can put the tire here and we won't have to worry about dangerous curves. The key is to look seductive, not murderous, jeez. You have to follow the rules, Barkhorn. Give me my gun. Not yet. Get into it. You know, feminine wiles. There was a pervert at the pass. I was so scared. Yeah, it was terrifying. I'll raise the alert level. Where's everyone else? They all mysteriously disappeared. No, Mia Fuji. What you're witnessing now is actually what we refer to as karma. It's really hot today. Usually my power only destroys things. As someone who wanted to become a doctor, I've always been secretly jealous of your inherent magical ability to heal other people. This is bliss. But Hartman, you really shouldn't be pushing yourself as hard as this. Thanks for caring. I'll keep that in mind. It's so hot. I'm burning up! This heat. Can't take it! Are you ready, Hartman? Break time's over! Stay away, you Jezebel! Come on, take one for the team! Me and Fuji can heal you if you short circuit. I bet I could bring back the dead right now. She sold her soul to the devil! You might as well swim a few hundred laps! Well, that's an innocent face if I've ever seen one. Now then, just use the power of your mind to cool it off. Mia Fuji, I think you and I need to have a little talk. Hey, Major, do you know any good tricks for staying cool? Ooh, yeah, my favorite way to cool down is telling a hundred scary stories. Do you know how Sonya seals off her room to keep prying eyes out during the day? Well, they asked me to use my Sturm ability to help prevent her from getting heat stroke in there. Okay, but what about Isla? Isla loves to hug Sonya tight, so she's great in the winter, but not in summer, Sonya says. And Hartman, starting this evening, you're gonna be on night patrol with Sonya, remember? So maybe you'd better spend the day in her room resting up for your first shift. Ten stories and ten candles. Guys, the room did just get a little colder, I swear. No way, ghosts aren't real. I just realized that by the end of it, when you remove all hundred tiny heat sources, you can't help but feel a lot cooler by comparison. Do you see the ghost in the doorway?